here on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Are we gonna increase this today? Dude, I think y'all aren't ready for what's about to happen. Today. Woo! All right, guys, it's the day. James is doing his first skid, hopefully. We got Dr. Tunamall on his way. James' truck is pretty much done. We did get it to run. The base pressure for the fuel is at 80 PSI. Turned it down to, what, 45? Yeah, it's at, oh, it's at 50. 50? Okay, so we're going to start this thing up right now and put some transmission fluid in it. Then the Dr. Last thing I got to do is top her off a transmission fluid. Yeah, and then Dr. Tunamall. That doesn't work. That's got to be taped. Tied. Tied. Tied up. Tied. Then Dr. Tunamall is going to get here. Put a hot tune in. We're going to put a hot tune in this thing. All right, let's start it up. I want to hear this rig. It still doesn't idle like perfect, though, does it? Oh, God. Don't hurt yourself. Fire this thing up. Oh, man. Quick explanation of the buttons real quick. 
This is just temporary yeah. right now, but it's uh, fans, yep. trans fan, yep. two-step, nitrous. Sweet. The nitrous and the two-step are going to be on a steering wheel. Yeah. Doug from Motion Raceworks is hooking me up with a steering wheel, and I'm going oh, to ditch the airbag and have them on the steering wheel. Oh, man. And then I'll mount two of the other ones for the fans. Okay. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Hell yeah. the brakes feel with no rear brakes? Fine. All right, what are our guesses? Let's say 395. 395? After all said and done or first full? Without nitrous, after all said and done. I think it'll make most of the full hard. I'm gonna go 398. 398. What about on nitrous? It should make 550. 550. All right, I'm going with 375, no nitrous. 520 on the old camshaft in this but she's out here making 330. What do you gotta say to Justin about that? Dude, he better make his diesel flame like that or he don't stand a chance. Yeah, dude. See, this is a show truck. Puts on the show for the people. The Does fire, the smoke. Does this truck even have AC? No. No, no it's not AC. Yeah. Ice cold. Whew. Justin's gonna be hurting out yeah. there. No AC. He'd be like, why is his windows up? I'll be in there chilling. <laughs> What'd you change? Added a little bit of fuel on top. Fuel? Okay. Are we getting to it that quick? Oh, soon. Soon, okay, soon. not this one. Let's it up and check it for weeks. Spray it real quick, let's hear it go. Psh, psh. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. Nate, give it a quick psh. Yes. <laughs> Gotta purge it a little more. Wow. Purge this into the intake. That's gonna be pretty it's spicy. Boom. <laughs> I don't know, that sounds like a 300 shot to me, but. Go ahead. Hold on. Do it again. Coming out the throttle body. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna leave that open. Yeah, leave it open for a good bit. <laughs> Don't need a. Come on. Well, a big thing you see is people have like leaking solenoids and not know it. Yeah. Arm their nitrous before they start their car. And they start it in the intake, and the heads are filled with nitrous, and boom, blow the intake clean off the car. I like I've it. Done that, James. I personally have not done that. <laughs> it sounded like a personal I think personal he might have done There's it. There's a guy here that has blown an intake all clean off the truck before. Though. Really? Who yeah. is that? Who is that? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know who might have done such a thing. All right, well, are we ready to do one more not nitrous pull, or maybe yeah, a few we more? Yeah, we can do one more NA pull, and then we'll get to the juice. Dude, I, I love Dr. Tunamal. He gets right down to the business. Couple rips. Yeah, let's turn the nitrous on. Hey guys, for this one, we're doing third gear. Could get a little sketch. I'm gonna stand behind this pole.
told you guys. <laughs> I told you guys. Yeah. Are they all right? Everything's good. It's just in right there. Oh, man. I knew it. I knew third gear would be the demise of that drive shaft. Is it diff okay? And he goes, it's smooth. I think it's going to be fine. How's the trans look? We're okay. It's fine. The transmission looks fine, though. Everything's fine. You got to check the output shaft. Some guy was mailing us the drive shaft. But I don't think it's going to be here before we leave for Australia. Damn! White trash! Living up to its name. Dude, yeah. it up my exhaust. Dude, I was literally about <laughs> to let off too. I was like, that's fine. I was worried about the Dale truck getting hit by something. Oh, your exhaust isn't centered anymore, James. We got a whack pretty good. We got a whack. Right on the 90. Right here. Oh, yeah. Damn. Dude, you're lucky the gas tank didn't get shanked. It almost did. I mean, it got hit, but it didn't. Lucky the trans cooler didn't take a whooping. I guess that's that crew as well. Yeah, hey James, we got any 4x4 fence posts laying around? Yeah. Make a fresh one for this unit? I do. Damn it. I didn't know these things were filled with foam. <laughs> I know, right? Is that what that was? This is Adam. Yeah, it's in it. This oh, is wow. what's in that dry shed. Wow. Well, we knew it had a big old dent in it, so it's only a matter of time. Yeah. It was smooth. We should have we should have waited. Oh wow. Well, you know, now you get upgraded drive one, shaft. One piece steel. <laughs> All right, you guys have to come back for white trash dyno results. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait till after Australia because we leave in a couple days. But it was freaking blast. We gotta rip it. Made 340 horsepower without nitrous. We definitely got in second gear. So we didn't get to do any third gear pulls. So. We gotta step those numbers up. We'll be back, but that's it for now. We'll see you guys in Australia. There might be one video in between uh, now and then, but I don't know. But for now, Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching, do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. All right, we gotta put a drive shaft loop in this thing before we start doing big burnouts.